Welcome to Model Tube. Thank you. Why are you laughing? Nothing. Today is your first time here and you are laughing. Yeah, because I'm ready. You are ready for everything. 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 A lot of people want to know you. So if you say everything, that means you are going to spit out everything. No problem. No problem. What's your name? My name is Della, but popularly known as Ifia Hamless. A fear harmless. Yes. Why harmless? Harmless because I'm not harmful. You are not harmful. Yes. So you are not harmful making it harmless. Yes. Oh, I get it. So when did you start using that name harmless? I started using harmless in SHS way back 2017. In school, I was very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. And I went to a military school, Bema Camp. So being stubborn, I don't want to use any name that will bring any side effects. So I decided to choose a name that will blend with my stubbornness in the opposite way. That's why I chose the name Harmless. So people will see you to be harmless, then you are not harmless. You rather the harm, you are the harm itself. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So what do you do? I'm a fashion designer, a model, and a philanthropist fashion designer, a model, and a philanthropist. Let's go into philanthropist. What makes you a philanthropist? I'm a philanthropist because I have a foundation that donates to the less privileged ones. And in my whole life, I've been through a lot. So I know how it feels when you don't have. So with that good heart, I decided to uh, open a foundation to help the less privileged ones. I like giving though, and I don't want to give to anybody, but to give to the people who don't have. Okay. You said you've been through a lot. Yes. When you say you've been through a lot in life, were you in the streets? As we know, street people, were you in the streets? Or how is it? No, I wasn't in the streets. Mm -hmm. My family have money, but mm -hmm. my parents doesn't have. So I've been through a lot. As in when I was young, the suffering here and there, no money at times i sleep empty stomach and all those things so i know how it feels when you don't have money or you don't have any food at home yeah. okay so you're a designer yeah. fashion designer are you how, how did the journey start for you as a fashion designer okay the journey started after completing jhs i love fashion since i was young even though i have no idea i just love the word fashion so in SHS, I studied fashion design. After SHS, there was no money. I can't stay home just like that. I one day woke up and I was like, Ma, I want to go and learn apprenticeship. And she was like, hey, the way you are, you are like, are you sure you can learn? I said, Mommy, I can learn. We went, I went to sign an agreement. So after studying fashion in SHS, I went under apprenticeship for three good years before I came out as a qualified madam. Afterwards, I didn't sit home. I went for a different courses. I went to a fashion school and also I did a short courses and now I'm still in the university studying fashion. In five years to come, when they are mentioning top fashion designers, I pray my name should be part. Okay, yeah. and you say you are a model. Who is a model? A model is a person who is hired to walk on the runway to showcase something. Example, jewelries, accessories, outfits, and a lot. Okay, so you are a professional model or you are yet to become a professional model? I am a professional model. You are a professional model. So um, when you talk of modeling, you explain who is hired to be walked on a runway or to display fashion accessories and other stuff. So do you mean any content you put out there has been hired by you to put out there? Yes. How yes? I don't get it because um, some of them you go on your own journey to a field or to a party or a pool and we see you naked all over and you said somebody has hired you to put you there. You don't understand. So when I started my modeling agency, I started my modeling career. Mm -hmm. I went through an agency. Mm -hmm. I went to learn a lot mm -hmm. before I became a model today. So I really learned a lot and I, I learned different type of modeling. Mm -hmm. So I saw the one I was suitable that I think I can do comfortably. Mm -hmm. 
So I chose bikini model and fashion model and photo model. So at times the pictures I project on Instagram, I do it with a concept, not just any bikini or I go for a party or I go for anywhere, then I'll just take pictures and post. I do a creative shoot or or thing. <laughs> so with the creative side we understand. But we guys we also feel enticed. We are happy to see you naked because you put out those content out there much. So how do you also receive guys coming closer to you when we see that that's what we want and you are doing it for us because we'll come after you. Okay. With that one, most guys come after me, mm -hmm. but then I, I'm not into that. I know what I'm looking for. What are you not into? I'm not into guys, as in guys here and there and... No. You are saying you are not into guys here and there. You can't be... Are you a lesbian? No, I'm not a lesbian. I'm so, dating. You are dating. Yes. But then you are not into guys. No, I'm not into those things, as in because of my bikini shoot, mm -hmm. any guy that come, I'll accept or any all those, those sorts of things. I'm not into it. So you call them those sorts of things. Yes. You are not into it. So people that they are into it are what? I don't know for them. Everybody and how she takes modeling. Me, I'm taking modeling in my own way because I want to be a model and I, I enjoy being a model. So I'm doing it in the way that will please me, not in the way that will please others. I get offers. People come to my DM. Oh, I like your body. I wish you spend a night. I am going to give you this and that. But it's my career. I'm not selling myself. It's a shoot I'm doing. It doesn't mean say I'm posting my half naked or my uh, my bikini shoot there to get a boyfriend. So if you come to my DM with those offers, I'll turn you off. Will you smash 10,000 Ghana cities a night or you pass? I'll pass. Why? Why? Because I'm having a guy and I'm not in for money. The money I want is the work I've gone to do and they paid me. Not a money that a guy will come and test me because of your body. Can I have it tonight and get this money? No. But that will solve your problem from the trenches or where you are coming from. It will solve that problem. Yeah, I'm not doing it because of money purposely. I'm doing it to build a brand because it's my profession. How many music videos have you been featured in? Countless, I can't remember, but at least more than 10. Which of them that you feel you really exposed yourself into the industry? I would say episode featuring Keche. Yeah, episode featuring Keche Fire. That was the one that people saw me well. But the rest, people saw me. They didn't know it was me. How much do you charge for a music video? Okay, so with music videos, at times I don't charge. It's my directors that pay me. But I don't take less than 1,000 cities. Is it compensation that they give you or they pay you as it is? They pay me as it is. And is it pay in kind? Do you also as in work for them in kind or is actually money? It's actually money. Have you ever been thought of exchanging that kind of offer for kind before? No, none of them have even brought any idea like that. Would you ever wish to do that? Not interested. Which music video or musician do you want to be in his or her video I want to be in stone boys video so if i'm a director and i want to put you on on stone boys video and i want us to exchange for pleasure would you accept that no but it is your dream it's my dream i know definitely as time goes on with the respect and how I comport myself when I go on set, I know a director will definitely call me when he's shooting Stone Boy's video. Okay. Do you prep your appearance on set when you are going to shoot music video or you get to the set and they tell you what to do? I get on set and they tell me what to do. At times, they give me the role I'll play. 
But when I get there, the artist will be like, I want this lady to play this particular role. Why this lady? And most of the time, they chose you to play certain roles. We at home see to be more exposing, more half naked, and all that. Why do you also choose to accept those roles? At times, when I get on set, seeing the models and the song, I think I suit that one. That's why at times they allow you me. You guys to... drink something before you come on set? No, no, no. I don't take alcohol. You don't take in anything? No. Have you ever regretted being on any set or music video and later regret being there or something? Yeah, a lot. A lot. So... You didn't drink anything, you just went on a set and now you regret being there. How come? I went, the director called me, gave us time, told me we were only two models he's going to use. We got there not knowing we are three models. And the one he wanted to use uh, was three hours late. When the model came in, he used that model whilst I've been there for three hours. And he was like, oh, he's waiting for the main artist to come. So I played the role with him. I've been there, so the artist is in. I didn't do anything until 11 p.m. So I got pissed and I was like, I'm not going to shoot, but then I'll take my money. And yes, I did sing. So I think that was a shoot. And you I took regretted. your money without any conflict? Mm -hmm. No, we had a little conflict. But because it was in a mix of people, he just gave me my money and I left. So how did you control that? Because I've heard models who go to set for this music video, they are uh, they talk anyhow, they just raise any issue anyhow. Meanwhile, they can calm down for that issue could should be settled. They don't do that. For me, I'm very calm when I go on set because I don't at times you go on set and you don't know some of the models. You know some. So me, whether I know them or not, when I go, I just sit to one side. I, was, I observe the people that are around first before I start talking or something. So I, before I'll have issues with someone, it will be very hard. That one day. Yeah. Do you think it's your physical stature, how you look? Probably you have the Coca-Cola shape. That is why they always wanted to put you on set. I think so. so. Not only the Coca-Cola shape per se, but then the beauty and how I carry myself. At how times. can you rate your beauty? Then, if it's hundred percent, I'm hundred percent. It's over ten, I'm ten. Wow. <laughs> are you insecure? Asem. The work you are doing. I'm not. You are not. Yeah. Because people tag the work you are doing as prostitution. Cook up girls. We hear all those things. So. Why are you not scared or you are okay to, to be doing that? Why? I'm okay because I don't want to listen to what people say. So far as my parents and some of my family members are okay, I'm good to go because I'm doing it for my future. And my future, it includes my family. So, so far as three, four people are backing me, I'm okay. So whether someone outside feels model is prostitution or something that one is up to the person depending on what someone has done with him or her that's where you'll be thinking that way i haven't done anything with anybody so there's no way you can be like oh this model is like this or i've ever had something doing with her so meaning that's what he's she's doing in the industry i don't do that you so said I have no you said you are doing this because of the future. You are building something for the future. So in future, and someone wants to also get married to you and brings all your nudity pictures and other stuff and use it against you that because of this, I can't get married to you. How would you feel? Right now, I'll date, I'm dating someone who understands my work. I'm not going to date someone who doesn't understand my work, whereby... One day in future, he will try to use my nudity or my social life to 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 distract my to distract me. So I don't have any problem. The guy I'm dating now is okay with what I am doing because he knows that I'm not going to do this till thy kingdom come. 
I'm doing it for a period of time. So when that time comes to an end, I will stop and focus on something else. Okay. We have um, other people who don't actually understand the industry you are in. What are the things you can tell to someone that the person sits at home that you should focus on doing this because there's money inside? What are some of the things you can tell the person? Okay, so most people home don't understand the industry because they are far behind and judging. But when you are in, you are in the industry and you, you sit down to learn, modeling is not just taking picture or music video or something. You need to learn research and other stuff. So to me, I've been learning and I'm not going to discourage anybody home. When you are home and you want to be a model, I'll try to encourage you. And some models to be like, I've been in this pageantry, I've gone to this competition, I've done this, and people have cheated me, so I'm not interested. And they just end modeling like that. You see some models or some ladies on the streets, and you be like, you look like a model. And the person will be like, no, me, I don't want to. I went and they did this, or my parents don't allow. It's up to you to let your parents understand. When I started, my family didn't agree with me but today they are in support because of how i carry myself and how i do my things and i try to explain things to the upcoming models for them to understand that this industry when you join a pageantry or a competition and someone cheats you or the ceo cheats it's a stepping stone for you to learn something nobody cheats or someone will be like oh they promise they'll give me days they'll give me that Meanwhile, your vote was not even up to what you were, you were even looking for. That's where people cheat. Because they've promised you a cash price, 3000 and you voted 2000 or 1000 something. And you're expecting the CEO to give you a cash price. That is where the cheating starts from. So I'll urge those home to learn and to be calm. You try to talk to your boss. Oh, boss, please, you say when I win this, this, then everything goes on well. For you and you enjoy the industry more like how i am enjoying how does your work affect your relationship my work has never affected my relationship because before i'll go in for a guy or before i'll accept any guy i'll try to explain everything to you that there is what i'm into so if you don't like it then we should end it here but if you are interested as time goes on I'll try to explain things to him, even though he doesn't know anything about the industry. He has been hearing what is going around. But with the relationship we have, when he sees me, the things I do, there's no way he'll be like, oh, my girlfriend is also into those things people are saying. So it doesn't affect my relationship. What drives men closer to you? When I say men, I mean men. It's in quotes. That is men. Okay, so I'll say some men, what drive them closer to me? To me is maybe my beauty or What my... kind of beauty descriptions are you going to... Are you going to describe yourself to me? Because if you say beauty, everybody, I will say maybe I'm beautiful because of my hair is bushy. I'm kind of looking that cute in my hair or something. But you are also Coca-Cola person. Do you think is your... Let me put it like in quotes, your ass that is driving the men closer to you. Not at all. Not Why at not at all? Because you are here without makeup and you are telling me that nothing will drive me closer to you. Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. Some people, when they approach you the first time, the way you, you respond to them makes them fall in love no with you. when they are coming first what do they see before they come That's at times some people don't see anything most people that see me and at times propose don't even know i'm a model Jessica, people see you and they have to call you so what do you think that drives them closer to you what do you think is that okay i think what drives them mostly is maybe my ass mm -hmm. yeah why so because of how slim most people with us have a big ties and a big i don't know how to say it wait, but i don't have that one wait, so. don't you think you girls have decoded what men want and you give it to them to get what you also want no 
because if you now sit here and tell me some of them see your ass that's why they come closer to you you also wear something that will expose your ass okay well i like wearing fitting stuffs i don't know but why. you don't like wearing flare stuffs once a while i do it once Even a if while. i wear flare mm -hmm. it it shows mm -hmm. yeah it shows i have us i have some more us so do you think you guys are cheating nature or you are adding up how men should think in the society? We are not doing anything to any man. No. Do you get what you want from men? Do I? Do you get what you want from men? No. Do you get what you, you want from men? No. Do men get what they want from you? No. So who are you? <laughs> I'm here. How do you this. live? <laughs> I mean, if you're harmless, eh. So that means no one, no, you can't please yourself, no one can please you, then you are not a human. <laughs> Any jam. You go for what you want, right? <laughs> I don't go for what I want. I don't have favorites. No, you are not being fair. You go for what you want, right? I don't go for what I want. Your last word for the people who look up to you okay so what i'll tell you people is try to understand yourself don't let anyone discourage you just be yourself and you'll be out there the journey isn't easy though the negative things you hear and some of the positive things but it's up to you to understand yourself very well before you do something don't just do it because someone is doing it and the person is there so you also want to be there just be yourself and you become what you want your social media handles and where they can get you even if you can drop your number because there are many people who want to have conversation with you if you are underscore harmless on instagram on facebook if you are harmless into bracket the model on tiktok if you are underscore harmless snap if you're harmless underscore harmless thank you for coming thank you for having me